Dale, dale. Well, if you can ask me how, what do I like about this boot, um, there's, there's a lot that this boot comes with. But first and foremost, thanks to uh, Game Rangers Association of Africa for their generosity in um, you know, sponsoring myself with this boot. Um, thanks to Jim Green as well um, for the quality of the boot. So, I've, yeah, I've, I've had them for um, about eight, nine months now and I have enjoyed every single moment I put these shoes when going to my duties. First thing is that they, they're not heavy boots, they in fact like light. You, you don't want to be walking with something that is heavy um, in the field. And I've said part of my encounters that I've had before uh, was, you know, like running away from runners and climbing trees. Again, you need something light um, so that you can be a little bit faster than those animals you're running away from it. And also uh, the sole, it's, it's, it's nice and like strong rubber. Um, they don't break quite easily. And I actually also enjoy like the prints underneath. So in terms of like traction, um, you can like, yeah, climb trees, uh, you can walk over rocks. You don't like really think that you're gonna slip and slide. So that's, that, that is very, very handy. Strong rubber, I enjoy that one. Um, and also the laces, I mean, you know, some of these boots you get like, you're gonna have to lace them, I don't know how many times. Here you've got only like five notes that you can do. So yeah, I'll say compared to other shoes that I've used before, um, I've used most of them that have got like a smooth sole, which is again, not, not too great for uh, the kind of environment that we sometimes find ourselves in. And I've also found that some of the other shoes that I've used, they will break quite easily just on this corner. Because like you'll be walking in the morning, there's juice and everything, then the next thing like they turn. Or either the sole itself, they break. But if, you know, this one is like proper rubberized. Yeah. Um, I'll go, I'll go Jim Green. The one that comes to my mind is Honey Badger. Um, why I'm saying that, uh, it, it will be honey badger. I'm just uh, saying that because of the resilience that you know a honey badger does have uh, in terms of surviving in harsh conditions, um, difficult areas to find food for it, at the same time being able to fend off competition. So yeah, like if I look at my boots, um, I kind of like get that honey badger feel that I can trust that when I put them on my foot in the morning, I'll walk through uh, moisture, juice and everything. And I'll be able to bet myself when I need to run away from a dangerous situation as encountering a run or an elephant. And I'll be able to climb trees uh, with these boots. I'll call them honey badger from now. <laughs> yeah, I, I chose to become a ranger. <clears throat> Uh, because of the love of firstly the animals um, and the love of the, the environment itself. Yeah, I thought I was just going to look for a job and find a job, but I didn't realize that it's a job that actually chooses you. Um, obviously, if you don't have passion for it, you, you don't last longer because at the end of the day, um, you're doing something that you and other people that are, are conservation minded that how I got involved uh, in, in, in this ranging um, aspect of the conservation. Um, I've, I've been to so many of the dangerous situation and have too many to remember. We're walking um, a recently introduced pangolin uh, into our reserve. We were not aware of uh, that there were lungs close by. So we're just following this pangolin and most of the time you, you're trying to keep an eye where it's walking and where it's going. But we <clears throat> eventually bump into, into lions um, and then it was a case of <laughs> who do you um, 
safe between the lions and the pangolins. And so we had to brave it up between myself and my fellow friend, uh, fellow colleague. And we stood our ground on these lions. And then we, yeah, we had to shout and clap and, and, and uh, try and intimidate them. They would have definitely toyed with it. And who knows, maybe even uh, kill it. As I said, yeah, I've, I've had too many encounters. The, 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 the passion that comes with the jobs that we do every day, uh, it's what drives us to, to try and, and make sure that we preserve some of these iconic